What I'm going to do is there's a camera up there like this and it burned out doesn't work and I got to replace it with this one and then while I'm up there I've got this other little camera it's kind of a like a nanny cam it's just one that I can just have in my office just to see when someone drives up and I'm gonna try to stick it up there and I've got some of this double-sided velcro thing so that's what I'm up to today it's blistering hot out here well, there goes one screw I have to find three screws. And I get down off of here. All right. So this is just an extra one I had to take off. Not the one I originally came up here to replace. So while I'm doing that, I can go ahead and put this one up there. So I'm using because of the way it is, I'm having to use this. So I'm put two strips on the back of this and put this up there and that way I can keep an eye on if anybody's driving up or whatever. We'll see if that works. We'll see what the view looks like. Hopefully I've got a drop cord up here. I think I've got one. Okay, I did manage to get it. Ha ha ha. Okay. And now, let me plug it into my power supply. So that I can get out of here. The wind is blowing so hard and it's thundering. Um, that I had to, I couldn't even put the camera out there. Could you see the tree? It's like I'm gonna blow over everything. So, um, so my next step is I gotta go up the ladder. I gotta look at this, although I can't see a thing in the daylight. And I gotta fix that, point that camera to where it's useful. Okay. I'll take my sunglasses off to see what's going on. Maybe something like this, so I can see my driveway. Maybe that would be the best, best place to put it. So you can see that little white camera right there um, beneath uh, and to the left of those lights that are turned on right now. So that's what the camera's doing. It, it's aiming down at the driveway. And as you can see, my truck is parked on that side. So if anybody were to drive up and park right there, I would be able to see them. So that's all that the, that camera is really for. Um, you know, if I have someone drive up and, um, you know, I like to kind of know, you know, because I'm sitting in there in my office, which is on the other end of the house. Um, so anyway, that's the view you get. I don't normally overreact or anything when somebody says that a storm is coming, but I got an email from the power company, um, from my home insurance, company and everything talking about this storm and how you need to be prepared so um, this is my generator I use it for camping so I went ahead and uh, last night went and got some gasoline for it um, and I filled up the gasoline container and then I filled up the generator and then I cranked it to test it so if we have power that goes out I will have you know electricity so I put it right here um, at the end of the garage and if I have to use it what I'll do is I'll take it and it's gonna be raining for like a week so I'll crank it and I'll stick it right out here outside the garage and then I've got this Tupperware type container here that I can place over see how this big hole is the exhaust comes out over here okay so what I can do is put this like that that way it won't get wet from the rain and the exhaust has somewhere to escape to. And then I would put that right outside the garage, then close the garage door. 
So that's my strategy and already got my um, long, long drop cord ready and that'll be run inside the house. And that way I, I'll have power until I, whenever the power comes back. You know, that's provided if power goes out. But they talk like it's a really bad storm, so once in a thousand year storm or something. So I just thought it was better to just go ahead and be prepared. And plus, um, you know, since I cranked this up and tested and everything, it's good because hopefully I will um, be going on a trip soon after I fix another problem that I've got on the trailer. I've been wanting to go to the Blue Ridge Mountains, which is just almost exactly a uh, five hour drive for me. Every time I get ready to go, something comes up that prevents me from going. Like for example, the last thing was my RV water pump wasn't working. So I finally got that repaired. And then at the same time, my truck had a bad spark plug. I had to get that repaired. And I was like, and then so I cleaned this thing out and I was like, now I can really go on my trip. I guess it was like three or four nights ago, we had a really bad storm come through here. Uh, a really bad one. I mean, the, the wind was just blowing like you wouldn't believe and it blew down a bunch of heavy things, right? Well, something else it did is it blew my trailer sideways. That caused it to bend this thing right here. So this is gonna now need to be replaced before I can go on a trip. This is the thing that, you know, it's electric and it, uh, you know, raises up your RV or lowers the RV. So that's the next thing I've got to do before I can go anywhere, I've got to replace that. And there's really no point in replacing it yet because we're getting ready to have some more storms come through. It is gonna rain here for a solid week because of that tropical storm. So there's no point in me getting out here and, and changing it. We're gonna have more winds and everything. So I think that's all I was gonna show you. Just wanted to show you my little, you know, putting up my little camera and um, just give you a little something to watch. Anyway, thanks for joining me and I'll catch you next time.